Now if you're going to, you've done all of your programming, you've customized this, you've, you have the child's or the user setting here saved, texting is still on. I, if you didn't watch the earlier video, we did turn texting on. Now what you want to do is you are going to hand this over to the child and you're going to leave. So you want to make sure that they can't get in here and use this editing function and change anything. So what you're going to do is before you leave, you're just going to hit this little lock button and it's going to lock all of those editing functions. Now if you have texting enabled on this, if you're allowing texting, that is still going to be allowed because that is a um, communication functionality. If you do not want them to be able to have access to texting, then you need to go into settings and lock that separately. So you want to turn texting off in settings. And here we're going to turn airplane mode back off too just because we're in here. Okay, and then you go back into the app and now you see the texting, the little envelope up there is, is gone as well. And now you have this where you're able to hand it back to the individual to use and they can't change any of the editing. Now the one thing, um, this is kind of separate from our app, but what we do recommend when we're talking to individuals who are going to use this for the, um, their loved one or for one of their clients, um, we do recommend having something to protect this setup key um, so that the person, especially the children, because once they see that this is their entertainment device, so all of their videos are on here, all of their games are on here, first of all, we, we do strongly recommend if you can do it to have an iPad that you use strictly for communication that's a dedicated device for them to communicate because you want them to have the opportunity to be able to communicate about the games that they're playing on the iPad and what's happening there. So for the um, iPad that you're using as a dedicated communication device, we do recommend having some type of cover for the setup key so that the child isn't easily able to access it and go in and scroll around and find their other apps. So you want to kind of keep them locked into this for communication and you want them to talk to you and, and to interact with you about what it is that they're doing and not just be able to go in here and, and watch their videos that they're all too, all too good at getting into. So I hope that helps and good luck.